All right, today I'd like to engage you in a discussion about the differences of different types of SPG. More specifically, the advanced light chassis versus the advanced heavy chassis versus the improved medium chassis. And SPG is the artillery variant of a tank and we're going to go into the different features of each chassis type and how your military advisors affect uh, these different the different types of battalions inside of a tank division template okay so first off we have the three different chassis types i chose these chassis because as germany you can get to these chassis in about the same time frame. I guess the only red herring here is you could get to the upgraded medium um, a little later, but not that much later, uh, maybe by like 42, but you could definitely get to all three of these by 41, no problem. Um, so comparing the three different types here, the light chassis here is going to give you a soft attack of 60, and this is using the improved medium howitzer. Both the medium and heavy tank chassis are going to use the heavy howitzer with the medium uh, fixed superstructure. So we don't use the heavy superstructure, the heavy fixed superstructure on the heavy tank chassis, because as you can see here, all it does is increase the IC cost without increasing stats whatsoever. So that's a key point here when you're building these different types of SPGs. If you look at the medium, the soft attack is 72, and that is going to be the same as the heavy. Uh, the only difference between the heavy and the medium here is going to be armor. So if you need to go up against an opponent who has high piercing, then you might need the heavy, but that's going to be the only advantage in terms of heavy tank SPG. The other thing that you're going to be able to tell here is the steel requirements of the heavy and the advanced light are one steel greater than the medium. Between the three different types, as you can tell, the IC cost of the heavy is going to be more. The production cost there is 35. The production cost of the medium is going to be 26. And the production cost of the light is going to be 19. So I would argue the reason why you don't go broom bar, the reason why you don't go advanced medium is because you don't need the extra reliability that you have here. You can see that it's 112%. So you can actually save one steel per military factory on the medium SPG if you just stick with uh, the second level tech instead of using the advanced. So that is one major advantage that you have with medium tanks. And just that one steel can really limit your economy quite a bit. Diving down into the different tank templates, I say tank templates because as you can see here, uh, the composition is armor 52.9%. So don't get this confused. SPG is not artillery. That means that most of the bonuses are going to go to tanks. So if you're playing as Germany, this is you're making an armor division, even though they are SPG. So the bonuses that you will receive from your military staff will become will be coming from the armor advisors and not the artillery advisors. This is why armor is so good, because you can have so many different battalions inside of your template, and that armor advisor is going to affect those greater than, say, an artillery advisor. So in artillery, you typically go 7-2, so there's only two artillery battalion so an artillery advisor is only affecting two battalions whereas the armor advisor is affecting all of these spg battalions so make sure that you're choosing armor advisors to pair with this template because that is going to be the advisor that affects this template the most okay looking at the light division template here the hardness is going to be less so the hardness is only 31%. That means if you're using Mobile Warfare Doctrine, you do not have access to the Blitz Tactic. Uh, the Blitz Tactic is going to be lower power uh, because uh, combat tactics 
are not going to be as high powered as some of the other bonuses that you're going to get, like the raw stats of the soft attack. So bear that in mind. It's going to cost us around, let's go with the top number here, uh, 10K IC. Moving on to the medium template. So we have hardness of 39%, which does matter. You still don't get access to blitz tactics, but the extra hardness means that you'll be less affected by your opponent's soft attack. Okay, so you can see that you almost have 100 extra soft attack on this division template. The IC cost, although it is 13 13K, just remember, you don't have to use that extra steel. So your economy as a whole is going to be way better off using the medium SPG than the light SPG because it costs one less steel per mil on the SPG. The other thing to note here is fuel capacity is going to be the same. If we back up to the way that I built these individual SPG variants, you can see that I have two uh, fuel drums on each of them. And that is to maximize uh, the encirclement capabilities of these divisions. And that translates into the template as having an equivalent fuel usage and fuel capacity. So as you can see in both, the fuel usage and capacity is the same in terms of our light tank division and the heavy tank or the medium tank division, the speed is not that different. So already here, you can see that medium SPGs are way better in terms of the overall economics and the fact that you have more armor and more hardness to protect uh, the, these division templates. Now, moving on to the heavy, you're going to have a higher armor rating by 30. The fuel capacity is going to be the same because I still build it with the two fuel drums on it. However, the heavy SPR artillery is going to need less tanks per battalion, which is very interesting. This difference is not seen between light and medium uh, divisions, but the heavies, for whatever reason, have less requirements for each individual battalion in this division template. The IC cost of the heavy though is greater and you will be needing the extra steel to build each SPG. So again, this is a win for the medium SPGs. If you th need armor of 90 so that you don't get pierced, you could consider using this. However, if you wanna go glass cannon, and you know you're going to get fully pierced no matter what. You might as well go with the lights. You're going to have better speed. You're going to be able to turn out more of these divisions. The fuel capacity is going to be the same. The supply use overall is going to be less. So you're going to have less attrition and less equipment loss from attrition. I think in most cases, if I had to rate these three division templates, I would go mediums in 95% of the cases. My second best template would be the light. And then the heavies, I would only go if I was going up against heavy tanks and I needed that extra armor. Other features of the way that I built these templates, it's going to have to be 43 combat width. I mean, you could play around and take out some of the motorized, but your organization is going to suffer quite a bit. Note that I do have Logi 3 here, and that mainly affects the supply use. This 43 combat width is going to be optimal in planes. It's going to be a little more suboptimal in force, where the, the combat width in force is going to be more, uh, I think it's going to be around 85. So if I'm stacking two of these divisions, that's going to get, give me a combat width of 86. So I would be aware of attacking into forest with this. And simply the strategy you go here is try to attack into planes only, make it encirclements around planes only. And with all the soft attack that you get on this medium division, your speed is not going to be that crazy of a difference. You're going to have more of a speed differential based upon what your air status is. And if you put AA, support AA in these divisions, the support AA, because 
you're able to ward off enemy air is going to give you more speed than having the raw speed right here. So make sure that you bear that in mind. And green air is going to give you more speed than anything else. So green air is going to affect the speed above all else. If you uh, min max this and you try to maximize speed and then you don't min max for air superiority, you're going to lose out anyways, because under red air, everything is slow. Even, you know, a tank with a speed of like 15 or something ridiculous under red air is going to have so many debuffs. It's not going to matter. So bear that in mind. Always have your green air over your armored spearhead. What type of SPG do you like? Going to go with mediums uh, for whatever reason. Hearts of Iron 4, the meta is going to be the medium chassis, in my opinion. Give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.